Hi everybody, it's the Craft Nut, and I'm here with you sharing some projects I've made over the last little while. Um, I am upstairs in our room. It has been it has been raining all day today, and our three boys have just been really rambunctious all day. And now it's the end of the day, so they're a little noisy, and we're about to turn the TV on so they can have a little show before bed, wind down, and just get ready to sleep. So it's noisy downstairs. So I'm thankful my husband is down there with them, and. I got to sneak away and come up here and make a video. Um, well, this first thing I'm sharing with you is a 4x4 card. It's a little hello card. It is um, something I'm going to send off in the mail soon. The sentiment is, uh, happiness is a butterfly from my pink stamper. Um, the butterfly has been cut from Create a Critter at two and a half. The It has been mounted on some beautiful Cane Company paper. Um, and it is, sorry for all the back and forth, I was going to show you this, uh, Tim Coffee from Designer Matt, Matt's Pad from Cane Company. I showed it a couple weeks ago when I was making a video, maybe even last week, I'm not too sure, but I have loved this paper. If you can see, hopefully you can, all those trees have a design in them, and it's just beautiful. It's like a yellowish brown kind of design. I have then distressed the edges with of it with a distressing tool, added a little um, faux stitching around the edge, and some little gems, and just on the edges of the wings I have put some little dots with my white gel pen as well. So that was the first little thing I've made. The second one I have made um, a little thank you note again with a my pink stamper sentiment. This little creator, this little critter, was from Create a Critter, and he is just so cute. I've noticed him when people have been doing videos over the last little while, and I'm just so thankful I was able to get this cartridge. I have been loving it. Um, I have made the little bows um, glittered. I put some glitter on it, and the little flowers as well. Um, I have made his eyes, nose, and mouth. I have made them shiny with some glossy accents. I hope you can see that. I think it's reflecting with the light. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she, but I guess it's a she with the bows. <laughs> the uh, paper is from Costco. This is a new um, stack I've gotten. It's great. It was about $10 for $200. And it's really cute. All nice bright colors and nice patterns. And um, I have gotten one last year and I've been using it up. And this one I have been really enjoying. It's great. I've been doing some mini albums and scrapbooking, and I love having these little or these big stacks of paper, lots of variety to choose from. And I don't know, so every once in a while when I get these really beautiful stacks of paper, I really have a hard time using them. But it's really nice having the Costco paper. It's um, really pretty to use, and there's lots of each design. So there's about like six of these sheets with this design. So I am just got it recently, so right now I'm at the beginning of using it and I'm not really holding on to one or two of the last of the designs. So it's kind of nice right now. I'm just having fun with it. Just going through and choosing all of it. So over the last little while I've been involved with a swap with Tracy from Tracy's Treasures. And it was a business um, a, um, envelope with a window. So like a business envelope swap. So it was a envelope, windowed envelope, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I can't really think of what I'm trying to say. I know what I'm trying to say, but it's not coming out very well today. So here's mine. Um, I have used, this is right here, some paper from Costco. I have then used, I think everything else is recollections, except for these little flowers, are from one of the stacks I have gotten from Costco. And I'm sorry, it's really glaring. I'm not sure why that is. But it is, so I apologize. Um, this, these little flowers are from um, uh, Martha Stewart Punch. And it's stamped with the little Martha Stewart stamp that came with the punch. I have used my gypsy to weld together this little scallop here. It's from Planton's School Book. And I have welded it to a rectangle shape from also Planton's School Book to create this kind of longer scalloped edge. Um, then I use my Martha Stewart hole punch to create the little holes and kind of finish it off with some stitching with a white gel pen. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm happy with how that turned out. 
I've used just some ribbon I've gotten at Walmart um, and some ink, D Tim Holtz Distress Ink, around the whole edge of this envelope. Um, and when you pull out the envelope, it is this. Um, I've Googled, a, uh, I guess, a quote from online, and I just kind of asked for a quote with soaring in it. And this one, really, I loved it when I saw it. Let your heart soar as high as it will. <clears throat> So what I've done is, hopefully it looks like when you're pulling it out, this little yellow bird is soaring away. This little yellow bird is from Straight From The Nest, and it has layers here. I don't know if it's showing up very well, but the top layer is yellow glitter paper, um, and the underneath is Recollections, just a nice rich yellow. The swirl is from Straight From The Nest as well. I've just made it a little longer with my Gypsy, and then this... Um, birdcage is also from Straight From The Nest. The quote is on some white recollections paper. I have distressed the edges with a distressing tool and then inked it with Tim Holtz vintage photo. I have used my gel pen, or my white gel pen again, to create um, just a design around the edge of the tag. So hopefully that with the quote and when they go to pull it out, they'll just kind of feel like the bird is flying away, soaring as high as it can go. On the back, I've added my information for them, and I've had a lot of fun making this. It's been a process. We've had a really busy week, um, and so I hope whoever gets it enjoys it, and I'm really looking forward to receiving mine. This is my second swap, and I'm really excited. I'm really glad Tracy decided to do it, and I think everyone should check out her channel. It's Tracy's Treasures 24, and she has a lot of really cute things on her channel, and I've really enjoyed watching her videos and I have really enjoyed being a part of this swap. So we've made five of them and I chose to make all five of mine the same. Um, just, I don't know why, this time I was running out of time so I did it as quick as I could and came up with this. So I um, hope everyone's enjoyed watching and I hope everyone has a, the rest of a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi again everyone, it's just me. I wanted to show you the back of my tag. Um, the one, I, the open window tag I've made. The back of it is Recollections paper inked with a vintage photo um, with antique linen. I have inked it up and stamped it with my script stamp or my text stamp. And with the ribbon I thought it came out really cool because it was all bumpy and kind of not a good consistent stamp but I loved how that turned out. It looked just really kind of aged and faded and really kind of cool. I was really happy with that. So I just wanted to add on that one last quick little thing about the back of my tag, which I forgot to show you while I was showing you the front. So thanks for watching again. Bye.